what lies ahead for the housing market in 2014? Well, let me pull out my crystal ball for you and tell you about the top trends, which range from millennials entering the home buying market to something called smile investing. I'm Elise Glink with today's Real Estate Minute. The number one trend is that millennials are moving into the market, but not as homeowners. A lot of cities have actually seen increased economic activity in the real estate sector from this generation, but millennials aren't forming new households at the rate they should be. Another trend is that second-tier cities, such as Dallas and Portland, will lead the recovery in 2014. Investors, developers, and builders are all interested in these cities because housing prices are cheaper and there are more housing deals to be had. The real estate recovery will also still hinge on job growth. Slowing job growth has been holding back the recovery, and that is unfortunately not likely to change anytime soon. Experts say the so-called smile investing philosophy is back. That's where developers and investors look at cities in the Northeast and then move south across the cities of the Sun Belt and come back up to the Northwest. There will be less multifamily apartment building in 2014 as well. During the recession, many homeowners started renting and multifamily buildings surged, but that's likely to quiet down in 2014. I'm Elise Glink. For five more real estate trends for 2014, watch my next video or visit my website, thinklink.com, where we're rebuilding America one house at a time.